Happy winter solstice to you. So today's practice is a yin practice. Today we are gonna be working with the element of water in traditional Chinese medicine. So working with the urinary bladder and also the kidney line. This practice can be used every single day over winter or a few times a week. So when you're ready, we're gonna start. So grab your pillows, get some comfy clothes on, and I look forward to see you in class. Do is just place one of the pillows to the side for now. And we're gonna use one pillow for the hips and the pelvis um, to lie over. We're gonna start off in Sphinx pose. So I just want you to edge your way forward. Okay, release your legs. Elbows are gonna come further forward of the shoulders. And then you're just gonna allow yourself to sink down into the shoulders and let the head fall and relax. So take a few breaths in through your nose and exhale out your mouth. And just continue that for the first minute of class. So just helping to release any tension or stress and just using the breath and allowing the body to deeply relax into the shape. And you might notice as you move through this practice all sorts of things can come up. So some emotions and feelings and sensations, and sometimes they can be a little bit uncomfortable, All right? In TCM, um, emotions are really just an expression of chi, and chi is our energy. So it's just an expression of energy, and it's neither good or bad, all right? Even though we have these polarities, this yin and this yang, positive and negative, what we're really looking for when we practice is just finding this middle ground, okay, this, this steadiness and equanimity within ourselves. So not being attached to any particular outcome, or attached to any particular emotion that comes up or sensation that comes up, just allowing it to move through us and being steady in our mind as it does so. So just notice how the shoulders can really settle and drop down and relax. The head is just hanging. And you feel really just very much like there's a surrender, a letting go. And what this does is it starts to stimulate our relaxation response. And our kidneys are a lot to do with, they produce our kind of stress hormone, so cortisol in the body. So if we've been super stressed or anxious, or we've been feeling any sense of fear, maybe about the past or about the future. Then this will come out as an imbalance in the body and we might notice that we start to get backache or maybe sciatica. If we're prone to a lot of back injuries, sometimes it can relate to the kidneys, so perhaps we're not drinking enough water 
And again, we're overstressing ourselves, doing too much, not giving ourselves enough time to rest. So I just want you to use this practice as a time to rest, a time to rest deeply and not worry. And if any worries do come up, just allow them to pass through you and remind yourself that right now in this moment, you are relaxing and taking time for yourself. And that you are okay to sit with discomfort. Now you can stay here on the forearms or you can take it a little bit stronger if you wish to, as long as it's not too much compression or pinching in the lower portion of the spine. So just examine that for yourself. Now you're just gonna turn, lift your head and then turn your hands out to the side, to the corner edges of the mat and press into the hands straight in the elbows. You might find you need to walk the arms back you are gonna lock the elbows out, okay? So you are locking and you're in the joint so you can feel that you're not using muscular energy to keep you there. And then relax again into the shoulders and just allow the pelvis to be heavy. So make sure the elbows aren't bending and you're using muscular effort to hold you, allow yourself to rest in the joints because in yin yoga, that's really what we're working with. We're working with the joints predominantly. Yeah, the fascia is part of that, but mainly we are working with the joints and it's helping to lubricate the joints. Right now, we're gonna feel that as a bit of a buildup of compression around the lumbar spine. We're just gonna take about four or five breaths in this upper seal pose. And again, anything arises, let it out through the mouth. Imagine that that energy is just starting to dissipate away from the body. Okay, just allow yourself to settle back down onto the belly. Bring the forearms forward and rest your head onto the back of the arms. Okay, just come up onto all fours. And then we're gonna come into child's pose. So take your pillow forward, lengthen the bum back towards the heels. Knees can be together or separated. You decide what works best for you. Okay, rest the forehead onto the pillow and bring the arms back behind you. Now, if your legs are separated, your knees are separated, you're gonna to need to bring the arms out in front. You just decide for yourself what works best. And again, just settle down. 
close your eyes and be heavy and relaxed onto your mat. Okay, just ease yourself up to your seat. Now we're going to sit down in between the heels. So separate the heels and sit the bum down. Now, if that is not accessible for you, all right, you can sit your bum on some blocks or some of your pillows. Okay, and it means that what you're going to be feeling um, is a little bit less compression in the lower back. All right, but that's absolutely fine. So um, it's absolutely fine. What you will feel is a stretch across the front of the hips and across the front of the belly. So we're gonna ease our way back. So to begin with, you might just, you might be here. So you might have some issues with your knees. If the feet out to the side again doesn't work, then you can sit onto the heels and ease your way back. Okay, and again, now we can start to feel a little bit of compression there. All right, otherwise you're gonna come all the way back into saddle. So sitting down in between the heels, drop down onto the elbows, down onto the back of the spine, and then just bring the arms up and over and close your eyes.
Okay, from here, just bring the hands back onto the feet. Okay, you're gonna press into the feet, drop the elbows down, dig the elbows in. One, ease your way up to your seat. Okay, from here, just take the legs out and take the legs in front of you. So have the legs nice and long. And then we're just gonna take a little twist round to the right. And then come back through to center and then a little twist round to the left. And then back through to center. Now from here, take the soles of the feet together Place your pillows just on either side of the knees if you need some extra support, okay? Or sit on your pillow, especially if you're rolling back the way. So sit on your pillow if that is the case. And then I just want you to just gently ease yourself forward. So you're rocking yourself side to side. You're gonna feel that stretch across either side, both sides of the spine as you go. And then you're gonna settle yourself down and into butterfly. Okay, just ease your way back up. And then from here, take the legs wide. So we're gonna come into straddle. So really nice straddle pose. Again, if you need some extra support, get your pillows. You can place them at the back of the knees and that's just gonna help release the hamstrings off. Okay, so just do what is going to work for you. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold over the right leg first. So I just want you to just turn your upper body round to the right and then gently start to ease your way forward into this forward fold.
ease your way back up. And just come through the center. Turn the upper body round to the left and fold over that left leg. And again, just ease and back up through to center. And then tuck the pelvis under just to release the hips and the backs of the legs and draw the legs together, all right? From here, take that left leg under the right. Right leg or foot is gonna go over the left knee. You want to feel the pelvis root down, okay? So the hips drop and root. And then just take a hold of the right knee and twist around to the right. So because we're really wanting this to be predominantly in the spine, you really wanna make sure the hips are stable where they are. And then inhale through to center again. Swap side, so right leg under, left leg over. Left hand supports the spine, right hand just hugging that left thigh and then twist into the left. and then release. Okay, so we're gonna take the legs up the wall now. So just make sure you have your pillow up close to the edge of the wall. And you can use both pillows because it's quite nice to have that bit of warmth at the back of the body and also support and a little bit of cushion around the hips and the shoulders and the head. Okay, so you're gonna sit on your pillow, your facing away from the wall, okay, or to the side of the wall, sorry. And you're gonna get the bum as close as you can, as close as feels comfortable for you. And then you're gonna drop down onto the elbows and take the legs up. You can shimmy the bum a little closer. And then make sure you're nice and cozy. Take the legs up, hands can rest just on the belly and close your eyes. Now this is a great pose or asana for the bladder line up the back of the body. So you really just want to allow the whole of yourself to settle 
And you can even put me on pause and stay here for as long as you wish to. If you wanna stay here for five minutes or 10 minutes and you have the time, then please just put me on pause and just stay for a little longer. Okay, just begin to bend the knees, hug the knees close to the body, take a little gentle rock on your spine. And you're gonna to roll to the sides. I'm actually gonna to roll to the left, um, but normally we would roll to the right, but do whatever works for you. And then slowly come up to your seat. Just take your cushions and sit down for a moment. You can take your legs into a cross, what works. Hands just rest on the knees, close the eyes. And just focus on the breath. Pull the hands together into prayer. And if you wish to join me, we're going to chant the sound of Om together for the end of class. So take the breath in. Oh. And thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this practice and please remember to come back to this practice as often as you can. It's really going to help just to release any stress and tension in the body and also release and relieve any tension around the back and bloating in the belly. Um, so it's a great practice to do over the Christmas period when we end up consuming way more than we ever intended. Um, enjoy your Christmas and your new year. Um, I will be posting up 
very regularly and I have a lot of stuff happening in January. So keep your eyes open. Um, on the 1st of January, I am starting um, a wee 31 days of yoga and meditation and it's called Unfurl the Funk. So if you get the chance, come and join me. And yeah, please make sure to like, share and comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this class. Um, make sure you leave me a comment because I really love to hear from you. And um, yeah, it would be nice to, nice to just hear how you get on with the practice and let me know if there's anything else that you feel like I can offer that maybe you need, all right, for class. Um, I'll see you very soon and much love. Bye.